purpose of a sprint retrospective is for the team to inspect itself. So what does that mean? That means the team is trying to find areas of improvement. So sprint retrospective, the purpose of a sprint retrospective is for the team to inspect itself and identify a plan for future improvements uh, that, are, that need to be enacted in the upcoming sprint. So what does that mean? That means the team is trying to find areas of improvement. How can we become effective, more effective going forward? Um, and there's a few common elements to this retrospective. That is, inspect how our work was completed uh, in terms of our individuals and interactions, processes, tools. Did we meet our definition of done? Ensuring that you know, all of these things are uh, discussed. It's a collaborative discussion uh, to identify and order improvements. When we say order improvements, if you have like maybe let's you identify 10 different uh, improvement items as a team, maybe we should do a better job of uh, uh, estimating. Maybe we should do a better job of interacting with our sponsors. Maybe we should do a better job of refining the product backlog. Maybe it's, it should be more clear. It should be sized properly. All of these things are taken into consideration. And uh, then you order those items. Based on those, you just pick like a couple of items to be enacted in the upcoming sprint because you can't possibly work on 25 or 30 different items, right? So that's what we do. And then you create a plan. So Esther Derby and Diana Larson in their book, Agile Retrospectives talk about five things, or it's a five steps. And the five steps are set the stage. So a good scrum master sets the stage so that everyone speaks up, creating that environment of safety for people to speak up. And then you gather data. Gather data by everyone, giving an opportunity to everyone to speak up and pro provide their input. So you gather that information and then you generate insights. How can we do a better job of uh, the refinement going forward? What can we do? So having those open-ended and safe questions so that we can pull those ideas together and decide what to do as a team. And then finally, you close your retrospective. These five steps are a good way of gathering that information, but Remember, these are the three common elements that we just talked about. Individuals, our interactions, processes, tools. And then you close the retrospective, but don't forget to reiterate actions, follow up. Some of the items that we have in a sprint retrospective that we identified and ordered those items, they may go into the upcoming sprint backlog. When you have it in the sprint backlog, then you can start focusing and reiterate those actions in you know, whenever you're in the, in, in the next sprint. So when you're doing a product backlog refinement or any of those items that refer to those individual uh, improvements, you can bring it up and see if you're actually working on those things or not. One of the things that uh, approaches that I've taken in the past or, you know, uh, that I've done is, remember the values um, tree that we talked about yesterday. So I put this tree and then put the values of Scrum. C force without the E, courage, focus, openness, respect, commitment. And I put these things here and I asked the team members to post their ideas. Where did we show courage during our sprint? What did we focus on? Did we focus on our sprint goals? Did we meet them or not? And then move forward with additional things and said, did it build trust? And finally, the fruit of this tree, did we have happy stakeholders, happy customers? Were they happy? Did we see a smile on their face during uh, our review? And also maybe, you know, joy at work. How are we feeling as a team? Do we feel like, you know, Monday morning, we want to go to work and accomplish something? So those are all the things that can happen, but retrospectives are really powerful, helpful for the team members to find areas of improvement as to how can we become 
better individuals and better team and so that we can serve the needs of our stakeholders and customers. So that's what the yeah, retrospective is. So to kind of summarize, purpose is to inspect it itself and identify a plan for improvements to be enacted in the upcoming sprint, in the next sprint. Timing for this is, this concludes the sprint and three hours for a one month sprint and shorter for, usually shorter for shorter sprints. And the participants are the uh, scrum team. No one else is needed here because it's for the team. It's a private event for the scrum team. So that's what a retrospective is all about.